The longest state legislative session that we've ever seen has finally come to an end. It ended this week. Yeah, it left a lot of state lawmakers frustrated and saying it can't go on like this yeah. anymore. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland live in Raleigh with more on how this is also costing taxpayers. Michael. Right, they came back here last January and took the final votes this week. We've never seen them start in one year and then have the legislative session carry over into a second year. The most recent data we have from the legislative services officer shows that sessions cost on average about $42,000 a day. From start to finish, the House and Senate each spent nearly 200 days in session. The General Assembly is supposed to be part time, and lawmakers on both sides say it should not be functioning like this. I was not willing for us to adjourn this session without a budget. I was not willing to do that. And it took a while to get the governor where he would vote or sign it. You know, I don't know of a business that can operate the way the North Carolina General Assembly operates. And so I personally have been very disappointed by the leadership that the Republican Party has shown in terms of how they how they've kind of run the General Assembly. Lawmakers make just under $14,000 a year. That, combined with the unpredictability of the schedule, led some of them not to seek re-election this year. Coming up at 5, I'll have more on what they say needs to change and whether there's actually any support to make those changes. And, Michael, they're due back here in just a couple of months. Are things really going to be any different then? That's what they're saying. They're going to be back for the short session in May, and they are claiming it's going to be unusually short. They are trying to get some logistical things done ahead of time to speed things up. They also say reaching a bipartisan agreement on the budget in the fall should also help to speed things along. We'll all find out together in May. Yeah, we will see what happens. Michael, thank you.